Hey folks, welcome to Space Engine News with Ronald of Playful Dragons. Sorry I've been gone so long, but life comes first. Anyway, if we look right out this window here, we get to see a new block they added today. That is the jump drive. Currently still charging up. As you can tell by the uh, little light indicators on the sides there. Big guy, big purpose. Now, I've tried doing it with this and that, and you can't make it jump by a time of a button. You have to have someone piloting this thing, which makes it that much better. Because so, somebody can't just fly up to your ship, drop on those on, and then jump your ship away. As you see, I've made a copy of the red ship there. I'm using Easy Start to get going. Now let's see what happens when I pop this jump drive. This program sent me 50,000 meters away from this location. Yeah. Okay, that should have worked. Oh! Uh, yeah, that worked. Uh, blue indicator shows that that one's been used. And if I turn on my HUD here. There's not a single thing near us. But yeah, that was definitely a Star Trek feel for warp drive. <laughs> Let's see if I can't send us back. Now, to do this, I need to pull up the jump drives. We'll use number two since it's already pre-charged. And I'm going to have to do another coordinate, so take this, copy the clipboard, new from clipboard, okay, and let's change this to 50, we go new from clipboard, Okay, let's try that again. New from clipboard. Okay, let's reset that because I want jump drive two to have. There we go. Now we come over to control panel, jump drive 2, hit that, select, and there we go, it's ready for jump. Now this baby right here is for if you're going to do line jump, you can set the distance and you'll be jumping in that direction, straight forward that far. Now, turn on the jump drive, I think. Nope. Okay. Now over here we'll see required input, max stored, current input, stored power, so it's fully charged. It will, it holds power just like a battery, so this thing has to charge up before it can be used. Maximum jump distance. And currently jumping at 100%. So, let's see if we can't go home. In 3, 2, 1. Oops, <laughs> looks like I might have added 1, 2. What did you say the web page was? The news nerd. 
Okay, looks like might have misjumped there. Did I hit nine instead of the one I meant to? Well, let's do it this way then. Give me a second here, folks. Control panel. Okay, let's try this. Uh, GPS. The jump corner is missing. Where the jump corner go? Let's do some new. Zero, zero, show on HUD. So the jump did work the first time. Disappeared. But we'll go remove, select, see what this does. There we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And there's our own base. Now, I really want to try something else out here. Where is the nearest asteroid? Looks like home's the nearest. So, let's go toy with that. What happens if you try to jump into an asteroid? tools let's bow our way into this asteroid GPS new from current location. Let's 
deletes you. So if this works, a little jump ship over here should crash inside if it doesn't have a smart system. And we'll program a third drive, number three, to do this. ready. So, we'll go here, select, open that, open that. Let's see what happens. Okay, looks like we have to go 5,000 meters. I'll get back to you guys once we're there. Okay folks, as you see we're over 5,000 meters away. The cord we're aiming for on number 3 is inside the asteroid. Let's see if you can wreck your ship. Looks like it actually has a safety mod, unless, yeah, I think I punched the wrong one. Oh, well, let's try this again. Number six. There's a base, and here we are. So, jump drive does have a safety feature where you can't be inside of an object. That's good news for us pilots, for those random jumps. Now let's see what happens if I try to make a jump and get out of the seat. Whoa! Okay, that's kind of cool. Ship's gone.
Let's see if we can't just get out of the ship fast enough to see what happens on the exterior. Or better yet. Two. Number two should be way over there. Let go. That is definitely a Star Trek feel. <laughs> the whole glow going. Yeah, it should put two ships down range over there. Now let's take the third one <laughs> and see what happens if we try to put too many ships at the same spot. This should be fun. Here's our ship. I think we lost a oh, way. that one. So we're missing a ship here. Oh well. <laughs> At least we got to see that this thing does have a safety margin for objects, even ships. So that's it for today's update. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Peace out.